Ted Bromond, from the right-leaning Heritage Foundation think tank, said he is extremely optimistic the UK will thrive outside of the European Union. His view is a stark contrast to predictions by the vast majority of economists who warned the best-case scenario for Brexit is that the economic damage is limited as much as possible. But Mr Bromond claimed this view is driven by fear that a successful exit could inspire other disaffected EU members to follow suit. He told Austrian newspaper Urie that the disruption caused by Brexit has been greatly exaggerated and many companies' businesses have made contingency plans. He said, there will be turbulences but fewer than everyone thinks, however a government report assessing the impact of a no-deal Brexit published last month warned there was little evidence that businesses are preparing in earnest. Mr Bromin's optimistic prediction comes as Theresa May scrambles to secure 11th hour tweaks to her Brexit deal ahead of a Crunch Commons vote on Tuesday. Brexit News, US political scientist Ted Bromond said Brexit can be a success image. Ted Bromond, Getty Images, the amount of Brexit preparation undertaken by businesses underestimated, Mr Bromond claimed, image Getty Images, the Prime Minister prepares to travel to Brussels this weekend for last-ditch talks with senior EU figures. Brexit Secretary Stephen Barclay and Attorney General Geoffrey Cox last night met with their EU counterparts but failed to reach a breakthrough. The dinner talks in the Belgian capital ended badly for the British side after Michel Barnier, the EU's chief Brexit negotiator, told Mr Cox to go back and revise his proposals. Updating MPs in the Commons today, Mr Cox said negotiations would almost certainly carry on through the weekend. But the government has until just Sunday night to agree new terms with Brussels before publishing them on Monday the day before MPs take part in the second meaningful vote on the deal. Ministers are said to be braced for another heavy defeat after the previous version of the deal suffered a devastating defeat and lost by a majority of 230 additional reporting by Monica Pallenberg.